Lord. Well, good evening on this nice Friday night. Oh, I forgot something. Glory, come here, girl. She always has to have her little treat. Glory, come here, baby. Come here. Where are you at? There she is. Come here. I know I showed it to you a couple of weeks ago, but here's Glory, my sweetheart. I forgot to give you this. So you want to have your treat? I'll put you down and you can have it while I do the video. Glory says hi. <laughs> so do Mike and CK. Nice to see each and every one of you. So glad to be here this evening. And uh, I've got a few things that I wanted to share with you that just been rolling around on the inside of me, some words of encouragement. So uh, buckle up and uh, get ready for the Holy Spirit to hit you. In fact, I just really believe that the anointing on this tonight will be something that will really minister to your heart and encourage you and draw you into a place of boldness and courage. It's very important for me tonight uh, is to stir up that courage. I love the first chapter of Joshua where the Lord speaks to him, gives him the command to take over the leadership position there for uh, Israel and leading them into the promised land. And he tells him, the Lord tells Joshua to be of good courage. Courage is so important, particularly in these days and hours that we live in right now. And those of you that are in the lion's army, yeah, roar call, lion's army. We roar in the spirit because we have the power we have the authority, hallelujah, to change the situation in America and on the face of this planet. And courage, courage comes from conviction. It comes from faith. It's a product of understanding our authority, who we are in the Lord Jesus Christ. So well, the main message tonight is don't forget who you are. Remember who you are. Don't lay aside your authority. Now, what do I mean by that? Let me just kind of unpack it and tell you why I'm even sharing these things with you tonight. It's because there is such a cacophony of noises and things that are going on out there. One of the things that the Lord spoke to me is he said, noise gets people's attention, but the power of the Lord changes their heart. And there is, are so many voices that are clamoring and pressuring. And we live in such uncertain times. You look at what's going on in America today, and you would have never even dreamed that we would be in this place right now uh, where the militant Islam groups uh, have gained such a foothold. You look at all the far-left Jezebel stuff that's happening. You look at what's going on in Israel right now and the war. Uh, against Hamas, and then the threats of war throughout the Middle East with the Arab nations. Uh, all of this stuff that's happening, and people rightfully concerned, if you know the Word of God, the Word of God talks about a lot of these things, uh, particularly with Israel's involvement in the end of all time, what we would call Armageddon, all of these different things. So people are wondering, is this the end time? Well, remember, you know, I don't know if this is exactly the end time. My personal belief is that we're not there yet. Uh, but still, with the involvement of Israel right now, it's like uh, the uncertainty that people have. And because of that, here's the point. I don't want to talk too much about those items. You know, people are asking, is this the catching away? Uh, you know, is Russia going to invade Israel? And and all of these different things. And my main point is this. Why would that change who we are? Does it change? You being part of the lion's army? Being a new creation in Christ Jesus? Does it change God's word? And the fact that he has given unto you his spiritual authority? That at the name of Jesus, that demons tremble? that bodies have to be healed, that demons can be cast out. 
Does it change the power of the name of Jesus that backs up the blood of Jesus? If he was to come back tomorrow, if things were to explode, why would that change that? Are we not the ones who are the body of Christ and have the ability now to bring about God's pleasure on the face of the earth? Yes, we do have it. Why would God give me the visions and the commission to teach on third heaven authority if it wasn't for the fact that he wanted us to use it now? You get where I'm going with this? And so here's a, a prophecy that I gave exactly two months ago, 60 days ago. And I shared this on a video, and it says, My faithful ones are now living in the current chapter of the Acts of the Holy Spirit, Acts carried out through the church. You are continuing to populate the annals of faith and bringing my pleasure into the earth. You are both salt and light, preserving the earth and enlightening the world. Great shall be your reward in heaven." Wow. Hello, those of you that have joined us in process here. You are very important to us. And that's why I chose to take this time this evening to just slip into my office. CK is in the, uh, the living room, probably watching the live stream right now. We care about you. You are important to us. You are important to God. You are important to God's plans on this planet right at this moment. You are important. And I wanted to speak the words of encouragement to you. Just because circumstances around the earth and in our nation are very troubling at this moment, does not change God. And it doesn't change you or me, who he has created us to be, what he has given unto us, what he has called us to do. Think about the dreams that you have in your heart. What are the promises that God has laid upon your life? What about the prophecies that have come? The personal words that the Holy Spirit has spoken to you. What about the Holy Word of God as we have read it and it has told us about all of the things that Jesus' blood and his sacrifice has purchased for us, his resurrection from the dead, seated at the right hand of the Father with us seated with him. What about all those things? They're still true. They're true in your life. They're true in my life. So let's think about those things don't become focused on what the devil is doing. It's easy to see what the devil is doing, but we have to stay focused on what God is doing. We have to feed on the word of God, not the word of the world. I just told CK tonight, we turned on the TV and on the news for a little bit just to see what's happening. I mean, you got to know what's going on around the world, but just enough of it, because then all of a sudden it's like, man, this is coming. We turned it off. It starts to overpower. It starts to come in the word of the world and the circumstances. I know what's going on. Okay, I saw it, but I'm not going to feed on it. I'm going to watch, but I'm not going to feed on it. You see, my spirit, man, on the inside here, who I am, the real me, feeds on God's word and his spirit, feeds on what he says, what he shows me. And then it gets strong. And at that point, then I can face all of the things that the news media is, is saying is going on in the world. You know, we are children of the living God. We are children of the word of God. And so, we have to feed on that. 
and then we act accordingly and go forward. So what I would really encourage you to do is pray, continue interceding about all these things, be spirit led. I mean, you're part of the lion's army. If you're watching this program, you probably are. And uh, there are some people who say, what? Lion's army? I, well, I can't go back and explain the whole thing. Here's what I would tell you. Buy my book. You see that book that's over my left shoulder there? Third Heaven Authority by Mike Thompson. You can buy it in, in printed form. You can also get it in audiobook form. And just go to uh, the link uh, in the description to go to our website. And there you'll be able to purchase those. I wrote that book to tell you about the lion's army, to tell you about third heaven authority, about who we are in Jesus Christ and what we can accomplish for him. I go through, I talk about all of the warfare in, that's happening in the spiritual realm, how it's what the major act of warfare in America today, all of those things, how to defeat the enemy, walk in third heaven authority as third heaven creations with third heaven revelation. Man, we can do it. And so the same is for you. So here's the thing. We really have to be careful about setting aside our authority. A lot of people, I, I'm feeling this in the spirit, CK and I have been talking about it and praying about it all week long, is that it's like, oh man, if this is the end of all things, because Israel's at war, again? <laughs> come on, come on. Uh, then it's like this fear comes in. Have you noticed that? CK was drawing my attention to it today and saying there's this kind of this teaching about end times, eschatology, Bible things, about Bible prophecy, end of this age, all of that. But in a way that people think, oh my God, that's it. Ah, what happened to my third heaven authority? It doesn't work anymore. What about being a child of God? The power that I have to rebuke and cast out demons and heal the sick and do all these. It's like, oh, King's X, it's all gone. No, you are a warrior in Jesus Christ. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. You have the dreams and the vision that God has placed within you yet to be fulfilled in your life. You are the one who is bringing heaven to earth in your family. You are the one who can lay hands on the sick and they have to be healed and recover. You can cast out demons. Get out of my life. Get out of this person. Take authority over them. Stop all of the demonic manipulation and infestation and fear. Take courage. You walk in courage. No fear is one of the battle cries. You have lost. We have won, devil, is another one of the battle cries. Can you, you understand where I'm coming from? I want you to grasp. Remember who you are. Keep a hold of that third heaven authority, spiritual authority, boldness, courage, faith, and run with the vision. I mean, become a doer of the word. When things get rough, that's the time to start looking for people to pray for. That's the time to start preaching the gospel and sharing Jesus Christ and introducing others to him. That's the time to cast demons out of people, raise the dead. It's a time to do what warriors do. It's the time to obey the lion of the tribe of Judah. Praise God. And we can do that. You know, I was mentioning a warning um, here. Oh, wow. It's been several months back. And in this warning, I was telling you about 
that I felt in the spirit that there was a, a an evil spirit of darkness that was coming. Was I right? Come on now. The Lord was right. Let's, I know, but it came through the vehicle. It was true. There's more to come. Somebody wrote me recently and said, well, you call that a prophecy? A warning that evil is coming? You know, the Bible says that prophecy is for edification, exhortation, and comfort. That's not exhorting. That's not comforting. Well, you know what? The Bible says that about prophecy, but it doesn't say that about the prophet. I am a prophet. And I did see it. But here's the thing. Not only was it true, but he also in that gave the encouragement. And he talked about the hatred that was going to be unleashed in public. He talked about the darkness and the evil, the attack on Israel, all these things. But he gave the encouragement and he said, the glory of God and the love of God would counteract those things by those, through those, who will stand as light and do their job. Praise God. And so the encouragement tonight is that don't listen to the noise. You know, the, the squeaky wheel gets the grease is an old saying. What's happening in the streets in America and around the world right now with all of the pro-Palestinian things that are going on? It's a deception. It's pure hate. There may be a lot of innocent people that are caught up. God forgive them. But it is pure hate. There's Marxism. There's Jezebel. There's other things behind all of that. A Nebuchadnezzar spirit. All of those things are happening right now and rising up. We are going to put it down. In the spirit, the lion's army will do what we are trained to do. And that's to confront it in the spiritual realm. To pray in tongues. To prophesy against it. To read the word of God against it to pray against it, to make spiritual decrees against it, and then to follow that up by being doers of the word. One of the most important things that I can say tonight, besides just remembering who you are and walk in that authority, is do the miraculous. You see, the apostles, original apostles, turned the world upside down. They lived in very grievous and troubling times. They turned the world upside down. Why? Because they did what Jesus told them to do. And that was go into all the world and preach the gospel. Lay hands on the sick. Cast out demons. Speak with new tongues. If you drink anything deadly, it shall by no means harm you. And then it says... They did that, preaching the word of God with signs following, because the Lord was with them. The miraculous changes everything. There's a lot of the screaming. Remember in the visions that I had of the Lion's Army initially about that first uh, demonic horde that was coming out against believers and against America? The shriekers and the screamers. Just, just shrieking, screaming, making noise. You see that in the streets of America. You saw it a number of years ago with BLM. Uh, you see it now. Shrieking, screaming. It catches people's attention. It's meant to cause fear, intimidation, and for people to back down or to have self-doubt about things. Now, I don't have any self-doubt. I know who Jesus created me to be, and I know who he created you to be. Think about, again, your training. Think about what it is that the Lord has placed in your heart. 
He's going to cause you to have supernatural youth and health through all of these circumstances. He's going to bring the anointing for supernatural finances into your life, regardless of how loud the shriekers and the screamers are or what the economy is. You see, we're people of the word of God, filled with the spirit of God, new creations. Let's rise up and be that, be authority. Take authority. Walk in authority. Praise God. And you watch. The God of all heaven and earth, whom we serve, who is our heavenly Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ will keep their sure word to us. The miraculous is going to happen all around us. Praise God. Also, I wanted to remind you one other thing. On October 7th is when Hamas invaded Israel. And when they did all those grotesque, hideous, evil, wicked things, murderous things. The following day on the 8th, I was standing in the pulpit that Sunday afternoon preaching and the Lord gave me a vision. And that vision was a heavens opened and I saw a flaming sword come from heaven straight down into Israel. It was not a sword made of flames. The sword itself was metallic, but it was on fire, symbolizing the fire of God, the power of God. Praise God. And I knew I could feel that it was a major event. In other words, God's working in behalf of Israel right now. The flames represent empowerment and judgment. The sword represents spiritual warfare and its effect on natural warfare. Angels are called flames of fire in Scripture. Angels were involved. So we keep praying for the peace of Jerusalem. But the most important thing that I can do right at this moment is just pray for the anointing of God to be released into your heart. Remember who you are. Keep your dreams alive. Don't allow anything to snuff them out. And stand in authority. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every single person that is viewing this video at this moment. And Lord, as I pray for them, I pray for the fire of God to come. The fire of God to come. I keep hearing that in the spirit. The fire of God. You are Lion's Army. You are prophetic warriors. You are children of the Most High God. You have been given the ability to bring heaven into earth. Keep your dreams. Run with the vision. Do whatever it is that the Lord places in your hand to do. And do it to bring the miraculous manifestation of God. You can do it. And God is going to invade your life through that. And he is going to use you mightily. Those that know their God are mighty and do exploits. Praise God. So I'm going to pray for you right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, as I pray for every single person out there, I want you to get ready for this. Get ready for it. Because this is going to be a release. There's going to be a transference of anointing right now when I, when I pray this. And it's going to hit you and activate something in you. It's already in you. You know, Jesus is in you. You've got the Holy Spirit, the Word of God, the name of Jesus. You have it all. Uh, but my job at this moment is to reach in spiritually as a prophet and to just ignite and turn something on. So I'm going to do that right at this particular moment. Father God, now, as I pray for every single person, release 
that anointing into them. Release that anointing all over them to rise up and overtake them. A supernatural mantle like Elijah's cloak. A supernatural mantle as the Holy Spirit brings the glory and the love of God into each and every life. Hallelujah. I can see it. I can see it right now. I can see it. I see people in the spirit. I just saw this real quickly. I witnessed it. It's like I just saw thousands of people in all walks of life. I, I, I saw grandmothers. I saw new mothers. I saw housewives. I saw husbands and men that were in different professions and doctors and, and uh, lawyers and, and those who were plumbers and carpenters. I saw politicians. I saw people in all walks of life. And I saw the Holy Spirit coming upon them. And I saw them rising up and saying, I want mine. Lord, you promised me I want mine. I take it now. I reach out in the Spirit. I grab it and I pull it. It's mine. Nobody can take it from me. These are the things that you placed in my heart. And I am going to hold on to them and I am going to see the manifestation of it. And while I'm doing it, I am going to rise up in the spirit and I'm going to tear the devil a new one. I am going to cast out demons. I am going to see the power of God in display in everybody's life that I come across because I'm going to take Jesus to them. I see them and I see that lion's army rising up and advancing and taking the land. Hallelujah. And I say it yet again to you, devil. In Jesus' name, you have lost. We have won. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to say this in a specific way. I'm not prophesying this. I'm just telling you. If this were the end time, if the end time is a hundred or two hundred or a thousand years from now, let's carry our authority and let's be filled with Jesus all the way up to and through it. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to uh, our YouTube channel. Go to our website. The link is there. You'll find things, and also particularly with the book. Get the book printed or audio. And while you're there, you can sow into the prophet's ministry. And as you do, we'll just keep coming to you. Uh, we'll keep putting out the videos, preaching the word of God, prophesying. You matter. We love you. God bless.